Hello everyone, what's up? This is Aries, and another video. Um, and today, we're back, uh, and that's not what I wanted to do. No, stop. Stop. Anyway, welcome back to Root Canal, um, Half-Life 2. Um, I got a mod installed that's basically, like, a more, like, condensed sort of beta-esque HUD. I think it looks really good. It, re it definitely reminds me of the Half-Life 2 beta. I'll show a picture of that on screen. Like, wow, look at that. You see it? Wow, look, it's a Half-Life 2 beta. Um, yeah, especially with like how condensed and small the HUD stuff is, it's definitely beta-esque. Where's the... Yeah, okay, I got it. Don't do it! You got so much to live for! Barrel! Get out of the way! Barrel, please! The tra oh god, it's so powerful! Oh god! Alright. Well, that happened. Am I proud of it? No. It was a thing that happened, so... We're moving right along. I don't know why it says 1 out of 45, because last time it had 2 out of 45, so whatever. Get fucked. Ow. This way. Gotta go this way. Jump down here. Run, run, run. There you go. Don't think I don't see you. Thank you. Oh my god, I have the aim of an actual potato! Run! Run! Okay, yeah, that lag is on my end, it's not your end, guys. Sorry, I don't know why it's lagging. I, you, <laughs> there is no other Source game on my PC that lags as much as Half-Life does. <laughs> come. You're just a lookout for the underground rail. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right side. Meanwhile, oh my oh my fucking God, what is wrong with me? Thanks, alien person man thing. I've killed you. I've killed your. I've killed your entire family in the halls of Black Mesa. Do not think I will kill you too. Or whatever. You know what I mean. Fuck off. Crash. I knew it. I played this game before. I played it on my 360 up until, like, um... Nova Prospect. So, I mean, after Nova Prospect, everything's new to me. Did I get him? Sort of. Mr. Station 8, we heard 12 go down and out. Surgical 
Thank you. Okay, let's get out of here. Another Lambda. Another lamb or another barnacle. Keep going, friend. That station is rated, but there's others up ahead. I like how this game, like, in terms of texture, in terms of like models, it's barely aged. I literally have potato aim. Okay, get over here. Nice job, dipshit. Honestly, don't know how. What's the quick save button? Okay, it's F6. I don't know how barrels can be on fire underwater, but you know, whatever. Jesus fucking Christ! And the suit, like, suit power, when uh, for this mod, if, if you get less than, or if you run out of suit power, it doesn't just, like, the suit indicator doesn't disappear, it says armor compromised right there next to my health. Wow, look at that, zooming into armor compromised next to my health. God, I love having a fucking editing software now. I know that there's, like, the speed runway where you just stack the cinder blocks. Uh, right up here and you try to jump on them before the physics ending engine kicks in and fucks you over but I'm not a speedrunner I'm an idiot <laughs> so Yeah, once again, lag is on my end, I apologize, this is the only Source game, they're really the only game I have that actually lags on my computer, which is weird. Go 
go. Thank you. Thank you. Down here. Thank you. Okay. And there's gonna be a dead body that pops up over here. Like in Resident Evil 7. Or wait, no, the corpse is just over here. Ow. Well, now I can just pick this, these up. See, it wasn't a total waste going over here. For those of you who don't know, this version of Half-Life Retail Half-Life was only completed and made within like, I don't know, like a, a year, a couple months, a couple months to a year, um, because the original Half-Life script got leaked in 2003, uh, and it was, it was a dev build, and the guy who leaked it didn't grab the textures, he just grabbed the, um, models. Or he grabbed some of the textures, he just, he, um, he grabbed the models, the scripts, um, and the, the maps. But a lot of the textures were just straight up broken. So, um, the game looked very poor and unplayable, which people were mad at Valve for making an unplayable game that would have been horrible. Well, it, it wasn't Valve's fault, because it, it was the guy, it was fucking LeakNet guy's fault for making an for not grabbing everything. Um, don't leak video games. Like, that's just a shitty thing to do. Is this where man hacks start popping up? Uh, no, yeah, this is where man hacks start popping up. What up, nerd? Yeah, man, that Fremont guy, he, um, definitely is going to get fucked over. Yeah, no problem. are the worst, worst enemy in Half-Life. Like, you remember Snarks from Half-Life 1? Uh, the, these are worse. Oh, fuck, fuck! All's well that ends well, I suppose. gonna stop wasting ammo. Okay, this is where I get the SMG.
Oh my god, there was a CP- there was a silver protection there? Wow. Thank you. Unlike Half-Life 1, this SMG doesn't use, um, um, 9mm rounds. Um, it uses the MP7 used 4.9mm rounds? I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the MP7, the H&K MP7 used 4.9 millimeter rounds as opposed to, uh, to win NATO trials, as opposed to, um, the Belgians, um, 5.7 millimeter round, which was used for the P90 and the, the 5.7 pistol. The USP, this thing, uh, this version's chambered, the match is chambered in 9mm, but I'm pretty sure the real-life USP is chambered in 45. Look at me spouting off of gun tips like I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I kinda do. I have a, at least a little bit of an idea. I'd like to think I have a little bit of an idea. Ow. And, um, if you use the, the high death pack in Half-Life, so, or Half-Life 1, you'll notice that the, well, the SM, or the, the pistols replaced from a Glock 17 to a, uh, Beretta 9, Beretta 9? Um, and the, the MP5 SD with under barrel grenade launcher. Much like that fucking grenade launcher, um, was replaced with, a, uh, um, some sort of Colt, um, M4, but chambered in 9mm, which, though, do exist. There are M4s that are chambered in 9mm, but the magazines are not 5.56 five, size, they are like mp5 9 millimeter size so that's kind of inaccurate and this fast 12 in this game is kind of chambered wrong or it, it the, either the combines shotgun shells are bigger than um you know military standard 12 gauge um or they just counted wrong um, because the Spass 12 is supposed to fit, um, eight shells in its mag tube, so, um, maybe, the, maybe Valve just, like, was like, hmm, yeah, six instead of eight. I'm so powerful. So powerful. Oh god. Oh my god. Don't oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, health. Thank you. Ow. Oh fuck. <laughs> You're so powerful. when you know it game. There's a suit power over there, but it's not worth it to get right now. Because it, it's not worth the platforming to get. I 
can do this. Just gotta slowly but surely make my way up there. This part's gonna be cut, by the way. Don't worry. Okay, well there is a way to do this if um, you're playing on the original build of Half-Life where when, you know, you could Mario 64 backwards long jump your way to literally skipping half of the game. Unfortunately, I'm. I don't have the 2004 build of Half-Life 2 because I don't want to install a backwards long jump game. It's not my thing, Holmes. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Cool. We did. Yes, I know, my armor's compromised. Okay. Mm, no. Because fucking man hacks. Another man hack, huh? No more. No. I don't want to crowbar these things anymore. In fact, I'll just do it for this one. Boom. There's, like, no safe way to... Like, I know that there's, like, a way to deal with them where you won't get hit, but I'm not smart. <laughs> I don't have brains. So... Aha! A yam dog. What? You saw that, right? I slid down slightly and then just took ton to took fall damage. Oh, it's that weird source engine fall damage. Fun fact, um these corpse models are from the beta. These use the beta, um whatchamacallit, the, the beta citizen model, um, with a different texture applied to it, shown here. Hey, you're Freeman, aren't you? No. We got word you were coming. No, you didn't. You got here at a bad time. Uh huh. Black Mesa East to Station Six. Do you read? Doctor Freeman is on his way down river. No, I'm not. Crabs, what's up? Long time no see, buddies. Oh. Oh yeah, head crabs can burrow underground. I forgot that's a thing. Like you just never see it happen. In this game. You just never see head crabs burrow. I got you, buddy. Head crab's dead. Easiest way to deal with head crabs is just to, like, do that. 
Oh, there's another one. I like how they kept the same sounds um, all the way through to Half-Life 2 for headcrabs, but they changed them just for Half-Life Alex, and that makes me upset. Look it. See how upset I am? Oh, I got electrocuted. Don't touch the edges. That's new too, where it tells you that there's radiation levels. Let's do this. Awesome and epic. No wonder all the girls like me. You think Gordon Freeman has autism? I mean, think about it. Nerdy scientist. That... It, nerdy scientist, dude, doesn't talk. He's very antisocial, right? Like... Come on, I mean... Just a little, just a little bit. There has to be- okay, and that's it. Fucking Christ. Um, just done with that conversation, oh god! Uh, thank y'all so- Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Uh, if you noticed, I've been using a new way to record my audio. So I've been recording my audio and my video together, um, baked into the, into the video, which not a good idea. Uh, so, so this recording, what I did is I used a uh, recording of, of voice or like an audio recording software to um, sort of deal with that. So that way I can change levels of the game without changing my voice at all. Um, and I can, you know, edit my voice and my video separately. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Half-Life 2. Water Hazard. Peace out, nerds!